Hello, John. Rachel Brosnahan, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So I watched the pilot episode, and I work for a traditional TV station. My question for you is, what are you doing to us? I need to get my resume ready because <laughs> you guys are going to put us out of business. I mean, uh, first House of Cards, uh, now this. I mean, we, we, we might. We're coming for you. Ouch. So great, <laughs> great show, and uh, I think you also need to get your... Uh, awards cabinet cleaned out, dusted off, because it's gonna need all the space you have. Oh. Great show, tell me a little bit about it. So this is a show about a young Jewish mother and housewife in New York in the 1950s. Uh, she has a perfect life and she created it that way. And suddenly her perfect life comes crashing down around her when her husband leaves her unexpectedly and through a a series of crazy and sometimes unfortunate events, she ends up on stage and begins to find her voice as a stand-up comedian. I love it. I've only seen the pilot. I watched it last night around midnight with my wife and cool. wanted, to cool. wanted to binge more of it because it's such, a, it's such a good show. I think the writing is the thing that stands out. It's, yeah. There's so much dialogue and you have to, just, you have to be listening to every, every word that's said because there's just so many funny things that are being said and just it's just great yeah. writing in general wouldn't yeah. you say it, it's a brilliant script the script is the thing that drew me to this character and to this project right away by the end of the first page that wedding monologue that opens the show i was i was sold who stands in the middle of a ballroom after three glasses of champagne on a completely empty stomach and i mean completely empty because fitting into this dress required no solid food for three straight weeks who does that i do it's one of the sharpest, tightest, funniest pilot scripts I've ever read, and I'm 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 thrilled to have any part in it. We shot a Black Friday, uh, or excuse me, a Cyber Monday video at Amazon earlier this week, and oh, between cool. that oh, cool. and this show, it's clear that Amazon's taking over the world. So I think either a I need to get a job at Amazon or it's <laughs> over. But here's hoping, right? <laughs> I, yeah, uh, uh, the streaming services have have changed the face of television as we know it. And it's, it's, a, it's a cool time to be working in TV for sure. But you, you might have to polish up your resume. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. And the reviews for this show, I know that you don't like to look at the reviews, but the reviews are excellent. Thank it already you. has 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, I'm cool. looking at IMDb. Oh, cool. I'm looking at IMDb, the user, um, the user reviews, and I've never seen so many nines and tens. There's literally like 30 wow. or 40. Wow. And, then, and then we have this idiot here, a one out of 10 saying near unwatchable. I saw the other reviews and thought, were we watching the same show? What is up with this person and what's your comment to them? He's broken on the inside. <laughs> exactly. Yes. I mean, come on, get it together. This yeah. is a great show. Yeah. And like I said, <laughs> the awards will be coming your way and um, another great streaming show for, for yourself. Thank you. And that brings Thank me to my, to my next question. Obviously, you um, had an amazing breakout role in House of Cards. Mm -hmm. And with the future of House of Cards kind of up in the air, what are your thoughts on that with Kevin Spacey, um, his, the recent allegations, and just him being out of the show and this is the final season? Do you know how they're going to wrap it up? And what are your thoughts as far as like that show in general? Sure. Well, I, I've been off the show for a couple of years and actually never had a scene with Kevin while I was working on it. So um, I, I can't really speak to it personally. Uh, but I'm sure that that they have a plan and that they will do the right thing. Um, but the show, it, you know, it doesn't change my experience of having worked on the show at all. I met some of the most talented, generous, kind, and smart people that I've ever had the privilege of working with. And, and the show changed my life, so I'm, I'm eternally grateful to have been a part of it. Definitely. And I joked earlier about the CW and the future being... Um, up in the air because of because of the things that you're doing on these streaming services, but we do have a great resume ourselves We have some great superhero shows that are very suc mm. successful right now. We have Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl uh, Legends of Tomorrow and soon coming Black Lightning. My mm. question for you is first of all If you were we do a lot of crossovers with those superhero shows If you were to do a crossover with this show and one of those shows, which one would you which would you, which would be a good crossover? Oh, I, I that's a very interesting question. I have never seen any of those shows, although now I have a whole list of new shows to check out. I actually don't have a TV, <laughs> um, oh, so okay. I don't know. But what would you say? I'm very curious. What, what what do you think would be the most interesting one? 
Well, I wouldn't say Supergirl because you're obviously already the Supergirl, so you have that covered. <laughs> I would say Black Lightning just because it's a new, great show just cool. like, like this show. Cool. So my, my next question is, if Miriam were to have a superpower, what would it be? Ooh, lightning speed. Lightning speed. She's already pretty quick, but, but nothing's ever fast enough for her. She'd like to be able to do a million things at once. And then, and then it does go with the Black Lightning theme, so we got that oh. covered. Great, great I didn't answer. even know. Perfect, perfect. My last, my last question for you is, here in the Twin Cities, we have a great uh, theater community mm. and a lot of upcoming actors and actresses. What would be your advice to an upcoming actor? Be brave. It's, it's hard, but take risks and, and don't be afraid to screw it up. All right, perfect. Thank you very much for being with us. And Twin mm. Cities, make sure you check out The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel streaming on Amazon Prime right now. Thanks.